بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Um, welcome back again to the ICJ Pre Iftar program. Um, today I'm going to speak about something called understanding Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's messages to you. And I start talking about something called the moment of realization or لحظة الإدراك. The moment of realization is one of the most important moments that passes by every human being. Psychologists call it a moment when your awareness is elevated. All of a sudden you discover a piece of information that makes all the difference in how you see yourself or how you see your life. This piece of information could have been invisible to you and it's your first day to discover it. Or it could have been a moment of realization to a fact that you know about yourself but you're trying to escape from it. Certain events happen so your awareness level really elevates and understand or realize. In this moment of realization, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a witness. He subhanahu wa ta'ala sees every person as his own heart is exposed in front of him. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. But is it not sufficient concerning your Lord that he is over all things a witness? In the moment of the appearance of truth, whether it's about you or about anything around you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes your witness. The moment you realize you're not fulfilling your duties towards your parents, and it's time to live under their feet, serving them, till the day, the day they meet their Lord, or the day you meet yours. The moment you realize you're not fulfilling your duties towards your family and your kids, and it's time that you have a real role in raising them in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moment that you realize that you're far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that you've lived many days disobeying Him, and it's time you return to him and tell him, Oh Allah, please forgive me. The moment you realize that you're not fulfilling your duties towards your own self, your own health, and you're getting older, although you're not really that old, and it's about time you take care of your health and your bad habits. The moment you realize a certain trait that, you're, you, that you use with people around you, from being short-tempered or miserly, or being hasty in judging others, and you keep losing those around you because of this trait, all of a sudden, something happens that makes everything as clear as daylight, crystal clear. You have to change. The moment of realization is one of the most important moments in a human being's life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions many moments of realization that humanity passed by, and He told us about it in the Holy Quran. First of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states true facts, and that if there is anything that is wrong in your life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows it to you that it is wrong. Because one of the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you is that He leads you to the right. He has to show you or reveal to you the wrong from the right. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states this in Surah Tawbah verse 115 when He says, And Allah would not let a people stray after He has guided them until He makes clear to them what they should avoid. Indeed, Allah is knowing of all things. There isn't a person that goes astray unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows him or her the right path. How to live in the closeness or fi ma'ayyit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to live amongst people while being loved. Allah has to show you first. He showed humanity through 124,000 messengers and prophets and He shows us every day through people who advise us and it constantly talk to us. He says in Surah Al-An'am verse 55 and thus do we detail the verses and thus the way of the criminals will become evident. The way of the criminals or the way of wrongdoing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows certain things to happen in our lives so it is clear to us that this is wrong, that it is not the right path. But why? Why do we pass through these moments of realization? Why do we pass through moments when the truth is crystal clear in front of our eyes? You see, in this moment when you understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom and His message that He's trying to send you through this moment, you will be able to live that moment and deal with it correctly. And you'll be able to direct your feelings to receiving this beautiful gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's like a hibah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moment of, uh, sorry, the moment of realization is a moment of revival, ihya, from the giver of life, al-muhi, to meanings that almost died inside of you. Because your neglect or simple turning of your back on it, because some truths from us, need from us what? Or they need from you effort and the ability to change your habits and your ways, how you treat others and bettering yourself and to go back and revisit your responsibilities towards people in this life or towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So it's a moment of revival from al muhyi to meanings that we killed inside ourselves. Now, psychologists say something that's really neat, and that is every person has two characters living inside him or her. The first is the commentator, and the second is the admitter. The commentator is the one who watches and observes, as if he, had, he doesn't even live in this world. And when any problem occurs, he starts saying, oh, the people need to do this, or the people need to do that, or they need to improve from themselves. And if someone advises him or her, he responds or she responds, yeah, you're right, if only people would use their brains and understand. So he just comments as if he is a maestro that administers everything from afar, and it has nothing to do with him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this type of person or these kinds of people in Surah Muhammad, verse 16, when he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and among them, O Muhammad, are those who listen to you until when they depart from you, they say to those who were given knowledge, what has he just said now? Those are the ones of whom Allah has sealed over their hearts and who have followed their own desires. They sit and listen to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu and then what happens once they leave, they say like, what is this? What has he said? It's nothing to do with them. And then Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala continues in verse 17 saying, and those who are guided, he increases them in guidance and gives them their righteousness. The words of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made them take the advice or the words of the prophets personally. It's Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala's message to me. When I listen to what Sayyidina Muhammad is saying, I take it personally as if he's talking to me. It's like it's not, I'm out of the world, it's somebody else, it has to do with somebody else. No, I have to take it and think of it or apply it to myself. I attended the Friday khutbah. The words were for me, a, propl a problem or an issue that happened. What is my role in it? That is the admitter. As for the commentator, he sees that any words he hears doesn't apply to him, but applies to those around him. The admitter is the person who is always alert. When any situation occurs, he asks himself right away, what is my role? What am I learning from this? What is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's message to me through this incident that just occurred? The Imam, when he was talking, was the topic relevant to my life or not? That's the admitter. That's who we need to be, all of us. A lot of us, when we pass by the moment of realization, we try to resist it or defend ourselves, that we don't have that fault or that we don't need to work on ourselves and try to improve our ways. And something called justification or tabrir happens. And psychologists call it defense mechanism. When we realize a certain fault or problem in us, we start defending ourselves. Some people deny, while others justify, and others put the blame, blame or sorry, on those around them. There are about 10 different mechanisms of defense, but the most common one is the justification. You always find an excuse. No one can deny the moment they realize their fault. For example, I just realized that I am short-tempered and I'm losing those around me or I just realized that my mother will leave this world while she's not pleased with me due to my lack of fulfilling my responsibilities towards her and my dad. This type of realization you can't deny, it's a fact. But unfortunately, some of us justify it. Don't turn down this guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't turn around the gift when he makes you realize by finding excuses, by saying, I'm like this because you know how bad this world is, or I sold because of how poor and needy I was, or I erred because the other person provoked me. Don't turn down the moment of realization with your justification. Instead, revive it. How? Number one, seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or you know, him as the best friend. He's al-wali. Ask for his help so he can change you to better yourself or help you to better yourself. Number two, share what you're going through with someone close to you that will actually help you. Number three, define the moment of realization and think to yourself, what is it that I need to do? Number four, take a step. At this point, every moment of realization will move you a step ahead and develop you and make you a better you. And after a while, you're someone else. What happened? You understood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's message that was directed to you. Oh Allah, the Lord of the worlds, open our hearts and enlighten our vision to what you need from us and help us understand your messages to us from everything that goes around us. And take our hands, Ya Allah, and guide us to you if we become weak as we seek you. Ya Rabb, fa inta na'ma al-mawla wa anta na'ma al-nasir, Ya Rabb. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.